In my last video, I announced that I was working with custom aquariums on a new 300 gallon display tank. So last week, I flew up to Wisconsin to see their operation firsthand. Their lobby is full of examples of their work, like this beautiful reef tank full of livestock and coral. A huge hexagonal South American tank with some really nice discus. A big amphibious tank that's basically an aquarium and vivarium combined and a really nice reptile enclosure. So they make a lot of different stuff and it all starts in the glass shop. It's a huge space where tanks go from large sheets of glass to finished aquariums. First, those sheets are moved from storage to the CNC glass cutter. It can tilt up vertically to load the glass. And once it's on there, it's basically like a big air hockey table. All the dimensions are programmed into the computer and the machine goes to work. This was pretty crazy to see in person. I mean, I knew machines like this existed, but to watch it zip around like this and know that it's making super precise cuts was really cool. Once the whole sheet is cut, the pieces are snapped apart into their finished sizes. Some of these are broken with the table and others with a clamp. The glass is then loaded onto a cart where it moves to the next step in the process, the polisher. They actually polish all four sides of each piece of glass, whereas most manufacturers only polish the sides that you see. This gets rid of imperfections that can compromise the integrity of the glass, so that's one thing that sets these tanks apart from mass-produced tanks. For tanks that are pre-drilled, like mine, the glass moves on to a hole drilling machine that drills from the top and bottom simultaneously. I've drilled a bunch of tanks by hand, and it's not a lot of fun. Seeing how fast and easy this was, and how nice the holes looked, almost made me mad. Next, every piece of glass goes through a washer that uses RODI water to get it super clean for assembly. It comes out and passes in front of a light panel so that it can be inspected. Any piece of glass that doesn't meet their standards is replaced with a piece that does. Once all the glass is ready, it's time for the assembly. The five pieces are carefully aligned and clamped in place. They're then taped off in preparation for the first seal. Another thing that sets these tanks apart is the quality of the silicone. This stuff is much better than that GE stuff that you would buy at a store, or even what's used on your average mass-produced tank. I've sealed a tank before, and it did not go so well, so it was really fun to watch these guys work and see it done right. Once the first seal has had some time to cure, it's time to do the second seal. This is a different day and a different tank, but I wanted you to be able to see it. They really take their time with this and even inspect each seam with a light after the silicone goes on, just to make sure there aren't any bubbles. Next up comes the frames, and this might be the biggest difference between these tanks and others, and it was a huge selling point for me personally. Instead of plastic frames, which I think we all know can easily break, they use anodized aluminum. It's much stronger and is held together with rivets. The taller tanks get an even stronger version with extra rivets. I got to see them frame this awesome 10 foot tank, which started with them lifting the tank with this crazy suction cup and pulley system. They scraped off all the excess silicone with the tank hanging in the air. All the frames are custom cut, so they did a test fit to make sure it was exactly right. It wasn't, so they took it back to the saw to make some adjustments. The frame was then reassembled and test fit again. This time it was perfect, so they removed it again to add the silicone. Finally, it was time to attach it permanently and add clamps to ensure a tight fit. Fully assembled tanks are then left to cure before being shipped to the customer. The other big part of their operation is the cabinetry shop. They make stands and canopies from solid wood, and they look really nice, very much like furniture. Even the paint is really well done. In the same building is where they put together all the plumbing for the tanks, which includes their seamless sump system. 
This was another huge draw for me and one of the coolest things about these tanks. I'll be showing these in depth once I get mine, so I won't go into too much detail here, but they're extremely customizable modular sumps made from polyethylene. Each component is all one piece which means there's no seams to break apart and leak. Once the tank, stand, and plumbing are ready, the entire setup is crated for shipping to the customer. They build what is essentially a custom pallet for each crate, and then they put padded supports around it. Then the whole thing is encased in plywood. I didn't make it up to Wisconsin in time to see my own tank being built, but I was at least able to see it leave. Thanks to everyone at Custom Aquariums for showing me around and letting me share this with you. And stay tuned for future videos, where among other things I'll show these crates arriving at my door. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, have a good one.